Okay, so the polar coordinates are written in the form of r theta. What that means is that when you have a point in the polar coordinate system, such as this one, r represents the distance from the origin to that point, and theta is basically the angle between the polar axes and the line segment, the r, this angle right here. And um, so that's pretty much it. So, for example, if you had another point, let's say um, this point right here, your r will be the point from the origin, your theta will be this whole angle right here. This will be your theta, and this is your r. It's a very simple concept. So r is the distance from, um, from the origin to the point, and theta is the angle between the polar axes and the line segment. So when you first start studying th these, uh, you'll probably be asked to convert from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. So let's go ahead and do that. So for example, if we had the rectangular coordinate 2, 2, and we're asked to write this coordinate in the polar form, how can we accomplish that? Well, we would first have to uh, when you're beginning to do this, you can you have to. It's best to graph the point two two. So my point two two is right here on the rectangular coordinate system, and we need to find r and theta. So what we do first is we can uh, see that we can connect a line right here and a line connecting these points. Now we recognize that we have a right triangle. And this, we know the value of this is the y value, which represents the height of the triangle, which is 2. And the x value, the length of the triangle, is also 2. And um, our angle in the polar coordinate system will be this theta right here. As I said, the polar axis and uh, the line segment, the angle between the polar axis and the line segment. So we can easily see that if we were to take the inverse tan, we we can ease, we can find out the angle. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, tangent theta, which is opposite over um, adjacent, is equal to two over two. So if we take the inverse tan of one, which two over two equals one, theta will equal pi over four, being in the first quadrant. Pi over four, forty-five degrees. So uh, you should know this from trig. So we have uh, identified the angle and so we have the angle. So now we, we just need to find R. Now R is even easier to find. As I said before we have a right triangle here so if we have two sides we can uh, find out the hypotenuse. So R will basically be uh, I'll, write, I'll, I'll, say, I'll write all the steps here. So from, from Pythagorean theorem we know that 2 squared this leg squared plus the other leg squared is equal to r squared. So basically r would end up, end up being 2 squared plus 2 squared. In other words, r is equal to uh, f uh, 4 plus 4. r is equal to a radical 8, obviously. Oh. Or we can just write 8 as 4 times 2, so we can take out the 2, so r will be equal to 2 rad 2. So I just showed all the steps here. So here we, you know, here we identified r, and over here we identified theta. So the point 2, 2 in polar form will be written as 2 rad 2, comma, theta, pi over 4. And so that's how it's done.